Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons and & Dragons, and we're going to talk about the Ennies. All right. So, um, Teos Abadia, who is a Dungeons & Dragons author, he authored uh, the fantastic book Acquisitions Incorporated. I used to think it was a bad book, but I now know that a genius wrote it, and so I have, I have a lot more respect for uh, Acquisitions Incorporated than I ever did before. You know what else gave me a lot of respect for the Acquisitions Incorporated book? Um, D and D Beyond gave it to me for free. I will never forget that they gave me an entire source book for nothing, right? On Dungeons and Dragons Bond Beyond, you can't get it today. I'm sorry about that. Like, and and, I, and I'm telling you right now, do not sleep on D and D Beyond. If you don't have an account, get your butt over there and get it. And frankly, you should be going back and you should be starting to be utilizing it. Dungeons and Dragons Beyond, they spent 145 million dollars on it. They're using it in great ways. It's a new and very important part of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Okay, so so basically. Yeah, uh, so you know, Acquisitions Incorporated is a very powerful book, you know, for uh, for Dungeons and Dragons. So essentially, as you move forward with Dungeons and Dragons, you're going to start to to recognize something, right? And that is the Ennies, right? Are awards for tabletop role playing games overall? And there's a lot of questions around the Ennies. The biggest one is, are the Ennies? Um, are the Ennies the most prestigious tabletop role-playing game awards in the world? So Teos Abadia, he just talked about the Ennies on his on his last um, podcast, you know, from the date of this, uh, when this is posted. Um, and uh, he said that he thinks that the Ennies are the most prestigious um, awards for anyone. I think he's right. Now, I have attended the Ennies. So I went to a, the Ennies event at... Um, at Gen Con. I've been to Gen Con about three times, and then the last time I went, I was actually attended the Ennies, right? So, uh, I can tell you right now, the um, the actual Ennies uh, event is quite robust, and it is truly does feel like the Oscars of tabletop role-playing games. So, so Teos Abadia made a few uh, claims about the Ennies that I want to look at. Are they the most prestigious tabletop role-playing game award in the world? Without doubt, they are. There's no question. The Ennies are are recognized throughout the entire industry. No one who works in the indie industry doesn't want to earn an Ennies. They really are the Oscar of the tabletop role playing game machine. So I, I'm going to like I'm going to check. Right, I totally agree with Teos Abadia. The Ennies are the most prestigious tabletop role playing game uh, awards in the world. Okay. Uh, next, he claimed that they really help indie creators. Check. 100% agree. They genuinely help indie creators. And if you win in any, you're going to be able to sell a lot more next year because people will be like, oh, this one in any, that means it doesn't suck. And I agree. I don't, I don't think that things that generally suck, right, uh, win any's, right? You could definitely suck and get nominated for an any, but you're not going to win one if, it, if your content sucks, right? It's a, it's a real, um, yeah. So it, it, it doesn't, you know, yeah. So all right. next, okay. Teos Abadia said, uh, they're at, asked the question, is there, uh, so, okay, so those are the claims of Teos Abadia. Here's my next question. Is there prejudice against Dungeons and Dragons in the Emmys? In my humble opinion, without a doubt, without a doubt, okay? Go over and look at the, uh, look at the, not the DM's Guild scrub stuff, right? Like, the actual, like, so here's the thing. I, I, uh, there's a West Croach Grognard who just said, hey, you're not going to find any of Wizards of the Coast products in, in, in the Ennies nominations. He's right, right? Now, you might find them super low on, like, you know, jank, like, ah, uh, best, uh, you know, sound mixer, you know, like the super low. But generally, at the top tier, at the major awards, you will never, you will never find a Dungeons and Dragons, almost never find a Dungeons the vast majority of the time, you will never find a Dungeons Dragons product out there. Now, is that because Dungeons and Dragons does not deserve to be nominated for an Ennie? Absolutely not. The nominations for the Ennies right now has Laser Ponies Second Edition. Now, are you going to tell me, right, that Strixhaven, an amazing book without with incredible art, incredible layout, incredible writing, right? moves the entire Dun Dungeons and Dragons sphere forward. 256 pages of just awesome, right? Is worse than Laser Ponies? Second edition? It's a, it's ludicrous. And the reality is, I think if you look at the Ennies, 
They are exactly like the Oscars. They purposefully, calculatedly ignore mainstream success. The Oscars, you are never going to see Lightyear put up for an, you know, put up for an Oscar, right? Uh, nah, that's a, probably a bad pick. You're never going to see a Top Gun Maverick put up for best film. It's not going to happen, right? Because it's a mainstream success. And the, uh, the Oscars purposely, calculatedly show prejudice, in my humble opinion. And I think the Ennies do exactly the same thing to Dungeons and Dragons. If you're going to tell me that Laser Ponies second edition, go look at the garbage cover on that game, right? Like, like you're going to tell me that Laser Ponies second edition, a My Little Pony scrub knockoff deserves an any nomination, but not a single book that Dungeons and Dragons fifth edition published to be, you know, in 2021 is worthy. It's outrageous. It's laughable. Dungeons and Dragons is unfair, in my humble opinion, is unfairly excluded from the Emmys. And it needs to change. That's my opinion. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider like and subscribing. Have a wonderful millennium.